Well, good day to you wherever you are. You join us on a day where the weather just may have an impact on a football match that has been uh, much anticipated. It's dry at the moment, but the forecast is that it will be wet, perhaps very wet by the time the game is uh, underway and certainly by the time of the second half. The crowd, though, are here and they are in good form. There's a right old cacophony going on. The atmosphere is terrific and kickoff is moments away. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Well, I thought about the opposite. Has a pop! And it's a goal! What a start! And what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. That really is quite fabulous. All his own doing. Yeah, I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's it's terrific play to, to get through and score. Fenerbahce have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Yeah, I think for them to get the noses in front away from home is brilliant, but these home fans will demand a response. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Fenerbahce have it back and they can go again. And the counter is on. Good idea, just poorly executed. Shana Erkin finds himself back in the starting side for the first time in a while. Looks to dink one in. Good clearance and very necessary. It's a throw. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Up towards the front line, cuts it out. Throw it. Time to deliver. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. He could be in here. Gary Rodriguez. Tries to get it forward quickly. Kajolu. He goes long, gets the better of his man, has a goal! Danger averted for now. He gets past his man. That's great strength on the ball. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Shooting chance! A wonderful effort all by himself. Oh, that's an excellent try and once he picked it up he headed forward with real intent. Forward it goes. Oh, good interception. Hoists it forward. Foot in. He ran himself into trouble there. Free kick given away. And the referee brings the first half to a close. And here we are. Off they go for half time. The great move did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight.
Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom at the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Fenerbahce, the referee's awarded a free kick. Gets it upfield. Defending was strong and firm. Kajolu with a long pass. Oh, what goes for goal? They've done it! Two up and threatening to pull clear. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Benabache grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Goes long. Cleared away. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Late towards the front men. Chance! And the ball's come out. Yeah, just thinking about the goalkeeper again, he really had to be at his best, didn't he? And it's played forward. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Oh, real danger here. It's a promising ball. Shoots! And it's there! And the lead is three! It is surely done! And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Oh, good steal, he just read it. Hoists it forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Has he found his man? Surely! Can't hit one! Tries to get it clear. It's gone a long way up and away. Forward it goes. It's broken loose! Big chance! And he should have made it four. Well, his instinct was brilliant, but not the finish. And it's been taken short. He's gone for it! Merthel gets it back. Kajolu, he's got it, and he's got time! And it's the goalkeeper's to claim. Maxime plays it forward and it's played forward and that's been won straight back Kajolu has a shot and he's there to hoof it away Gokan Gonu tries to get it forward quickly goes for goal the keeper good challenge he just stood firm played out to the right up for the header arrived on cue but fluffed his line a 
Maggiolo gives chase. And there goes the final whistle. Well, a great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one. Hello one and all, we are glad to have you on board for what must surely be the most unmissable game of this season. It could seal the final destination of the title. Of course there are minor conditions attached as with all of these. Gokhan Gonu is the guilty party there. Traps on Spore were imperious when the two sides last met. And the fans are asking for more of the same. Bokan Bonu plays it forward. Now well, they can break here. Plays it long. Floats it through. Well, that is it. He's had a shot. It's in. And look who it is. It just had to be. Well, there aren't too many players who can give you what this guy can. Such a strong character. He never seems to lose belief in his ability to step up when required. And there he goes again. Superb. Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it. Has a pop! Luis Gustavo gets it back. Mesut Ozil, that's surely a foul free kick, gets on the end of it, no foul says the referee. Yeah that's top defending and preventing him turning which can open up many possibilities. Gets a good foot in there. few waiting for it can't get the better of his opposite number it's a very good battle there terrific to watch it's a busy front line uh, lots of movement and is that working for you well not really, to be honest, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. So who's he picking out? Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Benabache, he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Floats one over. And he's there to clear it. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Back to the keeper and try something new. Tries to get it forward quickly. And that's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. It's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back here. Big chance! It's off target and by quite a way. Yeah, I think I'd feel that way too. Not that I thrived in one-on-one -on -one situations. That's a throw.
truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. And the counter is on. And he's shown him a clean... He's gone for it! It's come through. Mesut Ozil. Ozil gets flagged offside. Gets it upfield. And there's the end of the first half. So there you have it. A slow sport half of football. The still had its moments. But ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, that certainly pleased the fans and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Fenerbahce leading 1-0 at the break. So we're already into the second. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, the referee's given it. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. And they've been caught out here. It's come loose. And a real chance! He's got away with one there. A chance that's created through very good grafting. Did well to get in the face of his opponent. Champs on Spore, uh, grateful to the genius of their manager last time round. I think, Peter, we have to give credit where it's due. He had a problem up top and he tweaked the system to sort it out. And what I like is that he doesn't hold back. He's got that who dares wins mentality and he really goes for it. So still just a goal between them. Champs on Spore have a free kick. Jim, what are you thinking? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. Gurkhan Guru, Chana Erkin. Benabache scored early, of course, and the score is 1-0. Aziz, well, that's where he wants it. He's got away. That's great defensive work. It doesn't take too much imagination to guess what would have happened otherwise. Oh, look, his determination needed to be greater than the obstacle he was faced with, and it wasn't. Clubs on Spore are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Keeper sends it forward. It's a throw in. Nicely measured pass. And the shot! This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Aziz drives it forward. Tufan with a delicate ball. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Shana Erkin plays it out to the wing. Played back in. Keeper's ball.
No, no way through there. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. So the ribbons are attached, the name has been engraved. Now the sparkling trophy in front of the loyal fans, ready to be handed to the champions. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who, as a team, blended into champions, and this is their moment. Well, Istanbul is a truly unique city and here is the meeting of East and West, Asia and Europe and the two parties from either side of the Bosphorus Strait involved in this eternal neighbourly squabble representing the respective sectors of this historic city. Galatasaray European, Fenerbahce Asian. It is referred to as the Intercontinental Derby. And goes for goal! Marvellous goal! What a start! And what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well-worked finish too. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Yeah, although that first goal is a welcome boost, they can't afford to ease off now. To do that would simply be inviting danger. Tufan hoists it forward. On the back to the keeper. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Marcao Teixeira gets into the right position to intercept. Galatasaray have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. And that's been leave it clear. And they're not going to make any further progress now. And here's Falcao. The referee's awarded a free kick. Benabache were imperious when the two sides last met. And the fans are asking for more of the same. Onyakuru. Tufan with a definite fell there. Galatasaray, whose manager came in for a bit of flack after their previous result. I think it was quite fair, the criticism he received. He was blind to an obvious problem. And he... Oh, shooting chance! Oh, 
Well, how good is he? Sumptuous finish, an absolute joy. And this is getting better and better. Terrific audacity, just gorgeous skill. Oh, it's lovely to see the art of disguise alive and well, but the keeper straight into no man's land. Fenerbahce have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on Nagatomo, who's been caught there, it's a foul. Luis Gustavo gets it away. And it's Yedlin. Tries to get it forward quickly. And play for a throw. And here's Falcao. Falcao plays it out to the flank. Melanda has come loose and it's played forward. Nicely measured pass. He's got away and the shot. Well, oh, that is rather wayward. Fenerbahce just served up a reminder of how good they can be on the break. Their method is clear. Belanda. Marcao Teixeira goes looking. And it's Falcao. Belanda, he's played him through. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Forward it goes. Marcao Teixeira goes back to base. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. First 45 minutes are up. We can review the first half. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position. So why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Fenerbahce sitting pretty here at half time. 2-0 up. And the tries a shot! And more, and more, and more! And they are cruising away. Terrible error, duly punished. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. This is one of the best performances I've seen in a while. He's practically taken on this team single. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. And it's Yedlin. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Belanda. Fenerbahce, get it back again. And it's played forward. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Just brushed off the ball there. Has a pop! They've scored! Comfort, yet more comfort, easing away. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Four in the game. He is the man. Fenerbahce tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them and they're starting to look unstoppable. He's had a go! He scores! Well, just another one to add to what has already been an incredible haul. 
Well, I wasn't expecting them to go this big, Peter, but they have been superb. How many more does he want? Fenerbahce totally rampant here. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Falcao! Yeah, we need a better pass there. Fenerbahce uh, pushing by the confidence of a narrow win in their last game. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Looks to clip it forward. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. And here's... And the shot! Danger averted for now. Oh, almost a six! Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better? Especially from there. And it's Gokhan Gorm. Has a pop! And he heaves it forward. Forward it goes. Marcao Teixeira can get it clear. And it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Defenders on the back foot. Gokhan Gonul goes looking. Loose ball, who's going to get that? This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Nagatomo. Onyakuru. Well, that's where he wants it. And he has been fouled there. Ball, it's found its target. Marcal Teixeira into a minimum of four minutes additional time. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Aziz tries to get it forward quickly. Barbel is onto it and can take it up. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Fenerbahce have won big and in style. Everything went.